Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Meg's Movies. If you are new to this channel, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and to today's video, so let's get into it. Okay, so with the new Ghostbusters film coming out this weekend, which unfortunately I cannot see until Monday because I'm working the whole weekend. <laughs> Um, I have decided to review all of the Ghostbusters films in prep for this film. Um, so I want to start off by saying that Ghostbusters is one of my absolute favourite franchises of all time. After Scream, of course. <laughs> um, but this is certainly one of my favourite 80s movies. I'm sorry for the birds squawking in the background. They're having a tiff or whatever, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so Ghostbusters is one of my favourite franchises. And... It's one that I try and return to every Halloween, whether that's just watching the original or watching the other films along with it. Um, so that's my own sort of like personal history with Ghostbusters. Um, I did review Afterlife, but I've not actually reviewed any of the others. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a redo of Afterlife just to see if maybe my thoughts might have changed since I'd seen it. But yes, yeah, so today we are reviewing Ghostbusters 1, the very first movie we ever got. <laughs> okay so i'm not going to give a plot summary because ghostbusters is one of those films that everyone knows the plot about so there's no point in me going into a plot summary or anything like that but i will still try and stay as spoiler free as i possibly can um so let's just get straight into my thoughts so obviously ghostbusters stars bill murray dan Aykroyd, harold ramus ernie hudson and so many others sigourney weaver so there's so many big named actors in this film and they all did such an amazing job, but I will say Bill Murray is the most standout one in this film, just because of his comedy and the way he is. Like, all of them do have really good personalities, the characters are fun to watch and follow, but for me, when I think Ghostbusters, I do think Bill Murray, just because of, like, like I said, his comedy, the way he stands out. He's got, like, a weird humour to him. You know, he's not over the top like Jim Carrey, but he sort of, like, acts a bit weird in a sense, <laughs> especially with this character. But all the characters are fun. I love all the personalities that they have, and I like how they all interact. Um, not only that, but the villain as well. Um, she was quite a badass villain. And obviously, of course, we can't talk about the villain without talking about the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. He is iconic for Ghostbusters. It is so funny. I love it. <laughs> um, but no, this film is near and dear to my heart because this is one of the classic 80s films that I grew up watching and fell in love with. Like, I can't get over how much I love this film and how it impacted me life-wise because, like I said, there's so many things from Ghostbusters that just sticks in my mind and I love it. It's things like there's so many quotable lines, so many quotable things, like the fact that you've got Slimer, just a ghost that appears briefly in the film is still memorable. Like you can't forget about Slimer. You really can't. Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, the Twinkie. You know, there's so many quotes from this film and so many things. And it's like, it does stick in your mind. And I love this kind of 80s movie where it is comedy like I do love my 80s comedies more than anything um but this is definitely a classic 80s film I will say with the effects most of it is practical which everyone whoever's on my channel um knows that I love practical effects I think practical effects are absolutely amazing they're very well done and especially in the 80s like for me that's why 80s are like my favorite movie genre movie genre movie decade because I love how practical effects were so used. Whereas now we rely on CGI so much. Um, I will say the bits of CGI that they did use, yes, is a little bit dated. It does look a little bit off. But I think that's what gives it its charm. Because especially if you're feeling nostalgic or if you feel like watching like a campy, funny, sort of like 80s comedy. Then... The CGI, you won't really think too much on because you do have a good laugh with it. And I say, I think I think the CGI went mostly to the ghosts and they looked really good. 
like the transparency, the creepiness. I mean, Slimer looked really good as well. Um, so yeah, there's so many things about this film that I just truly enjoy. And like I said, this is one of my go-to Halloween movies. Like if I come up with an October watch list, this will always be a part of it. Not sure about the other ones, but this one would be the one that I have to watch because I just love it. I just, I laugh at it every single time. I mean, the soundtrack as well. We cannot talk about this film without not talking about the soundtrack. Who are you going to call Ghostbusters song? Honestly, let's get stuck in your head. I mean, it's stuck in my head right now and I've only just finished watching the film again. Um, I will say I haven't watched this properly for a little while. Um... So it was quite nice to actually go back to it because um, although Ghostbusters is one of my favourite franchises, I will say Scream is the one that I return to the most of my favourite franchises. Like when I think of things like Avengers and um, like Ghostbusters and things like that and The Mummy, you know, it's they're franchises that I enjoy, but Scream is the one that I just return to a lot. But Ghostbusters is one of those franchises that I don't think they have a bad film in it. I know a lot of people weren't a massive fan of the remake um, or reboot, whatever you want to call it. Um, but for me, I enjoy something in each and every one of these films. And the fact that I'm now re-watching these films before I go and see um, the new one, Frozen Empire... It's actually made me feel very nostalgic and it's made me think about like what my favourite films are. I mean, this was one of my um, movie favourites. Like, I can never get bored of Ghostbusters. I love Ghostbusters. But yeah, whenever I'm in a mood for a laugh, Ghostbusters is one I would probably think of. Um, but no, Ghostbusters, if you haven't watched it, especially the first one, I would say watch it at least once just because of, say, like I said, the acting, the characters, the plot, you know, the effects. You know, there's so much of this film that is so good. And I can see why it's a classic for pretty much nearly everyone. Um, but yeah, Ghostbusters 1 will always be one of my absolute favourite movies of all time. I mean, I'm even starting to redo my top 100 list. And this is definitely one that would make that list because like I said it's not only the fact that it was a good film for me but it's also because I have nostalgic feelings for it and I have memories attached to it so to me Ghostbusters is sort of like one of those things that is embedded in me if you get what I mean like I just really enjoy these films and re-watching it today has actually got me hyped to watch Ghostbusters 2 which will be the next review after Thursday. Um, but yeah, so Ghostbusters, an absolute classic, 80s comedy. And if you haven't watched it, I'd say at least watch it once just to say that you have watched Ghostbusters. <laughs> so yeah, so that is my review for the first Ghostbusters films. Films? Film. <laughs> um, what I want to do is I want to start reviewing some of my favourite franchises. So... Ghostbusters is one of them. Um, Scream. I did try to do that last year in prep for Scream 6, but it didn't really happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until we get some more confirmation about Scream 7 before I then decide to do a review series for that. Because I know probably a lot of you are probably wondering my thoughts on this. Neve Campbell coming back. I'm happy about it. I mean, not going to lie, I didn't really miss her too much in Scream 6, but I think it's because they dealt with it in a very good way but it's also very nice to have Sydney come back because I do love that character she's one of my favorite final girls um the fact that Kevin Williamson is going to be directing it makes me feel a bit better about it as well because we're not going to have radio silence which I am gutted about because I do really enjoy radio silence I mean especially since they did two of the screen films and ready or not which all three are like absolute favorites of mine I do enjoy watching them um, but Kevin Williamson, who written, helped with the first, like, three or four movies, I'm glad he's back. I'm really not happy about the whole, um, Melissa Barrera thing, um, General Ortega not coming back either. 
So I don't know where they are going to take the seventh film. I think it's just going to be a case of we just have to wait and see. Um, see what comes up and things like that. But if and when Scream 7 does come out, which I'm hoping is next year, because we were supposed to get it this year, I believe, when till things went all tits up. Um, but Scream 7, when that comes out, if and when, I'll do a review series for that. Unless it gets cancelled, then I will do the reviews for that one a lot sooner. Um, so, sorry, gone off a bit of a tangent on Scream. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I want to try and review franchises a bit more, especially ones that I love and enjoy. I mean, things like Pirates of the Caribbean will be one. Uh, Planet Activity would be one. Teenage Mutant Turtles films will be one. You know, things like that. I don't know when they'll be, because uh, I'm trying to do it so that I still enjoy my films, but also have to force myself, as weird as it sounds. Um, but right now, my focus is Ghostbusters. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button and also notification bell down below to be notified when I post. And also leave me your comments and thoughts on the original Ghostbusters film. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? What was your favourite quote from that film? And also let me know, are you going to go and see Ghostbusters Frozen Empire? I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, I am gutted. I've got to wait until Monday. But it's fine. It's cool. <laughs> it happens. Um, so please, no spoilers. Please, please, please. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.